March 13th, year 11 at 10.41 a.m. Entry 103. A dream deferred? It's Sunday morning before I play football with George and before Kenny comes over. I can't stop crying. I feel terrible. Nothing's happened, but still, I woke up from a bad dream. My mother, who seemed healthy but a moment ago, was now bedridden, weak, and semi-catatonic, and for some reason had to release body fluids through a straw coming from her mouth. Think bedpan or catheter. At first, I just didn't understand it, but the more I thought about it, the more I processed what it would mean, and as if my psyche had to catch me up, in the dream, it put me through classes on how to deal with that machine and the people relying on it. Um, although the classes felt more like a gritty New York-style Mexican sweatshop, and I lost my shoes when I went in. I woke up crying, and it's difficult to stop or keep it under control. I've called my mom to check on her, but her phone's off. I think Grandma woke me up earlier to tell me she was going to church, and... Mom stopped in to tell me I did a good job on the cake, and then they left. Writing this helps me feel a little better, but I don't understand why a dream hurts so much. It isn't real. In a few hours... Mom and Grandma will probably get home and perfectly fine, and, and yet? Maybe it's me. I've had a strange battle of emotions these past three days. On Friday, I went to a gay Spanish club in Boston with Chris. On the way, the peridot necklace Ben gave me as a gift broke, and I sort of took it as a bad omen. The rest of the night went alright, although somewhat boring and with a subtly ominous undertone. When we left, the original driver or navigator was drunk, so Chris drove. Ellipses. Over a divider, possibly misaligning the wheels and damaging the car, which only added to my sense of dread. We all became very serious, but eventually we made it home. The next day, Ken called and asked me for my female co-resident's name after I told him that she was suspect of the group home that he hailed from. I immediately became suspicious, and after hanging up and revealing nothing, I began to plot how best to handle the situation to prevent the possibility of my co-resident getting fired for my actions, whether I told Kenny the truth or not. Unfortunately, that line of thought consumed most of my day with dark contemplations until I was finally able to speak with Kenny and tell him what I was feeling, that what I told him and what I tell him in the future was to stay between the two of us. He told me some things that made me feel better, although I planned on going over it again with him today just so I could hear him better. If I can get over this dream thing about my mom. And now, today, I just awoke from a terrible dream, so it seems a series of strange mental tests and insignificant signs and I'm prepared for things on a whole other level than the reality I deal with. Either way, I feel like shit and I don't fully understand where all of this is coming from. I'm already a quote-unquote soft person. Do I really need a dark dream to make me softer? Or perhaps I just need to be reminded that life isn't all roses and that optimism only counts for so much in a dark world.